Hello, this is Chef John from foodwishes.com with Pecan Pie Energy Bites. That's right, are you looking for an easy to make delicious bite to give you a little boost of energy? And would you like that bite to be vegan and gluten-free and requires no baking and vaguely tastes like pecan pie? Well then, this ball has it all. Plus, we're doing this without adding any sugar since we're gonna sweeten this with dates which depending on who you ask, may or may not be better for you. So with that, let's go ahead and get started by transferring a generous cup of pecan halves onto a parchment lined baking sheet. And all generous cup means is that it's slightly rounded. And what we'll do is distribute those into one nice even layer. And then we'll top that with about a third of a cup of rolled oats. And I know I did say in the intro, you don't have to bake these, which you don't. But if we toast our pecans and oats first, I do think we achieve a more pecan pie like taste. So what I like to do after panning those up as shown is pop this into a 350 degree oven for about 10 minutes or so, which I think really does wake up all these flavors beautifully. And again, this is totally optional. And the original idea this is based on is a raw vegan recipe, which means we're not allowed to use heat because I'm not sure. So if you do want this to be raw vegan, don't do this step. But if you want it to taste more like real pecan pie, I would do it. And then once this is out of the oven, we'll let it cool completely before we use it. And while we're waiting, we can go ahead and prep our dates. And the ones I recommend are these beautiful plump and moist medjool dates, which are the stickiest and I think most delicious choice. And what we wanna do is pull off this hard round thing where the stem attached at the top, and then we'll simply tear it open and remove the pit, which will come out very easily. And please do not forget this step. Otherwise, you might find yourself responsible for somebody else's dental bills. And yes, other dates will work for this, so use another variety if you want. I mean, you are after all the Jordan Poole of whether or not to use Medjool. But if you use a date that's not quite as sticky and moist, you might have to add a few drops of water when we mix this, but you'll be able to make it work. But no matter what you use, we're going to need one pack cup. Sorry, one generous pack cup. And once that's set, we can transfer our cooled oats and pecans into a food processor, along with our dates. And the bad news is you really do need a food processor to make this. But the good news is, even if you don't have one, one of your friends or neighbors or relatives does. And I'm sure they'll let you use it once they find out what you're making. Although maybe don't mention the vegan part, unless they're vegans, then mention it like 15 times. And then to our dates, nuts, and oats, we will add a little touch of cinnamon, plus a nice big pinch of salt, followed by a little touch of vanilla extract. And please use the real stuff, the one made with actual vanilla beans. And then last but not least, we will finish up with one tablespoon of maple syrup. And believe it or not, that's it. All we have to do to finish these is pop on the top, and we will pulse this on and off until our pecans are ground as finely as we want. And because those dates are so sticky, it is not a bad idea to stop a few times and just take a spatula and kind of poke around to make sure nothing's clumping up, which I didn't film because that didn't happen, but it could happen to you. So maybe at some point you want to take a peek. But anyway, like I said, we'll go ahead and pulse that on and off until our pecans have been chopped up as small as we want, which for me looked exactly like this. Oh, and fair warning, this is not going to come together into a ball or stick together on its own until we press it or squeeze it together with our fingers. And if your mixture will not hold together when squeezed, just add in a little bit of water and pulse it a few more times and keep doing that until it does. But mine was perfect. And once it is, it's ready to shape into whatever you want. All right, bars, logs, eggs, or as we're doing today, the always popular balls. And because I want to make 12 exactly the same size, I'm going to use this sorbet scoop, which fits in about two rounded tablespoons of mixture. And then once that's portion, we'll just kind of roll it into a ball. And for these, I think the tighter we pack these, the better. And for the first few, that's going to be pretty easy to do, but then your hands are going to get kind of sticky. So I suggest having a little bit of water nearby, since if you dampen your hands with a few drops, that mixture will not stick. And you'll be able to create some beautiful, smooth, perfectly round balls. And by the way, if you've watched any of our fabulous meatball videos, we give that exact same advice, which became so popular we actually made a t-shirt that says, Damp hands make smooth balls. And no, that's not a joke. It only sounds like a joke. And that's it. If we wanted to, we could serve these now. But I think these are much better and way more pecan pie-like 
if we wrap them up and pop them in the fridge until thoroughly chilled, which is exactly what I did. And then once they were nice and cold, I went ahead and played it up. And that, my friends, really was an impressive bite of food. And not just because of all that energy it's going to provide, but it really does sort of kind of taste like pecan pie. All right, I'm not sure how familiar you are with eating dates, but out of all the dried fruit, they really do have a flavor that's most similar to caramelized sugar which for something where we're trying to get a pecan pie flavor profile is sort of a big deal. And when you add that element, along with those lightly toasted oats, which do a nice job standing in for the crust, and then that touch of cinnamon and vanilla, and a little bit of earthy sweetness from the maple syrup, the final effect, while obviously not exactly like pecan pie, I think is still shockingly close. And again, we did all this without cooking, or at least you don't have to. And we also did it with no butter or added sugar. Although in fairness, a date is about 70% sugar. So it's not like these are sugar free. But as we slowly shake our heads disapprovingly at our coworkers eating candy bars, we will act like and carry ourselves like these are sugar free. But anyway, forget all that nutritional stuff and forget that these are vegan and gluten free. The best reason to make these, which is the best reason to make anything, is because they taste really good. So a sincere thank you to our vegan friends. I know, we do a lot of joking around at their expense, teasing them about all that stuff they do with tofu, trying to get it to look and taste like meat, or how they don't eat honey because it exploits the bees, or how they can't see the reflection in a mirror. All right, it's all in good fun, and I am very happy to be sharing what I think is one of their finest works to date, which is why I really do hope you give this a try soon. So please follow the links below for the ingredient amounts, a printable written recipe and much more info as usual. And as always, enjoy.